my daily dose of epic. It is Wednesday. Yeah, I know I'm late. Last night I started making my video and I had to stop and then I got distracted with homework. I'm at college, it happens. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I have exciting news. I don't know if you've ever heard of this thing, but it is called Humans vs. Zombies. And oh my god, it's terrifying. So, to those of you who do not understand what Humans vs. Zombies is, it's a game that you play with your body and other people and their bodies. And, um, basically what happens is you have a big group of people who all want to play. And for this game, we donated $5, and it goes to UNICEF, and I'm all for giving, you know, children's in need money. Understand that. Go UNICEF. But, um, what we do is there's one person, and they're called the original zombie, and they dress as the humans. The humans wear white armbands, visible all the time, on their arms, and you can't wear, like, a white t-shirt or anything like that. And zombies wear red armbands, and what the original zombie does is he tags humans, but he's dressed up as a human, so you don't really know who it is. It's like, ooh. It's a bit, it's a bit like Mafia, for those of you who know how to play Mafia. And, um, so, if you get tagged by the OZ, then you're a zombie, you get to wear a red armband. And you get to try and turn other humans into zombies. And it's a lot like tag, you have to have a firm-handed full on palm tag to get a human to turn into a zombie and if you get tagged then you wait an hour and then you're a zombie and this is all done on a website we have a website it's called the killboard and you have a number and if you get tagged you hand the zombie your number they type it in and they get your kill and to be a zombie you have to eat somebody every 48 hours or you starve and to be a human you have to go on these missions now the cool thing about being a human is that you get to defend yourself which is crazy scary so um like with me I have two I have the uh, nerf guns the first day you're allowed to have a gun with no more than ten shots and you're allowed to have socks and socks work the same as the gun the the foam darts and if you stun a zombie with your sock that means you you hit them if you hit them with a sock or a dart from a nerf gun then they are out of the game for 15 minutes. They're stunned. They can't do anything. They can't like be like, hey zombies look a human! Or they can't be like, meat shield in front of another zombie that's trying to attack you. They just have to stay out of the game for 15 minutes and then when their 15 minutes is done then they get to go back in. So you can see why this is scary. We are on day three currently. The game started at 12 o'clock sharp Sunday night which is you know Monday morning and um it's been going since then and the original zombie tagged one person and in the first day there were like eight zombies the second day was ridiculous last night it was scary just watching the numbers drop all day yesterday and I'll answer at the beginning of yesterday's video that I started making here <clears throat> Let's hit refresh. Look at that. Can you see that number? That says 82 humans and 43 zombies. That's right. I'm playing humans versus zombies this week. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so scary. <laughs> the first day was okay. And the next time we're doing a humans versus zombie game. I'm gonna videotape all of it all week long. But this game I thought I'd just, you know, try and play my hardest. And it's terrifying. Well, part of it anyway. And so today <laughs> has been even scarier because this morning the zombies outnumbered the humans. And that's bad. So, like, you're walking down the street, and you're like, oh, hey, what's up, my friend? Oh, you're a zombie. I better either run from you or try and shoot you. 
So I've been getting lots of weird looks. People, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing with a... Sorry. Oops. Maybe I should bleep that out. Do I know how to bleep? Yeah. Anyway, people are like, why do you have a, a gun in your hands? I mean, it's a Nerf gun, you can tell. Or why are you socking? Why are you... What, what, what are you doing running campus looking like a nerd? And I've never been more scared in my life because... I've discovered a new trait about myself. Every time I get really scared, I shake. So, like, when people jump out at me and try and tag me, which has happened a lot the past 48 hours, people just, like, jump out at you. Or people, like, they'll just run at you, straight on sprint, trying to get you. And you, you have to defend yourself. But when people do that, I shake. And I shake for, like, 10 minutes. So, it's hard for me to run away. Because I'm just like... It's stupid. I don't understand. But, um, and there are missions and things. If you want to find more about the game, um, go online, search up Humans vs. Zombies. The Wikipedia one that they have is actually pretty accurate to the way that we're playing, so. It's fun. I am a human, and currently, as of 4.44 p.m., there are 56 humans and 65 zombies there's a kill board and these are all the people that are playing there's like I forget how many people are playing 122 players so you can imagine why it's scary I'm scared but it'll be okay so here is my Tuesday video on Wednesday Sorry for the lateness. Um, goodbye.